Hello there, this is Space Runner 5. Welcome back to episode 32 of Cards, where today we are playing against a Soviet player using our German US deck. Lots of three drops. Uh, I don't particularly need either of those. I'll keep both of these just because it's artillery and it's a nice 5 5 hitter. Pretty scary. We did draw a 2 drop, which is nice. Nice 3 2, it's strong. Soviets don't tend to have a, uh, a 1 or 2 drop. Generally, I know they have a 1-1 one, one artillery, which he does not have. It's a 1 cost. Our deck, we can definitely fake our deck as a rush deck. With two Panzer Grenadiers. This deck by, by no means is a rush deck. <laughs> it's uh, definitely like a mid-game mid, mid -game deck. If we don't win by like turn... Once we're at basically turn 10, it's pretty much GG for the most part for us. You can go ahead and attack for the 3. Or do you want to get the next one down? I think we'll actually want to go ahead and get the next one down. Continue to develop, otherwise we'll waste one credit. Because next turn we'll sweep for 6, potentially. Nice 1 8 with guard, that's going to deny us the sweep, but that's okay. Does mean we can go ahead and put the artillery down. 4 5 with blitz, though. This is card draw, which would be nice. Let's go ahead and put down the pack. Drive you to the front. Two pretty big hitters. Well, I guess hitters. You know, three twos are pretty strong because they definitely do more damage to what they take, uh, which is always pretty positive, especially when you're the one in the trading position. One two. Oh, hey, that guy. Definitely don't like him. Four five of blitz might be our next. Next idea. Artillery's just gonna, definitely going to hit there. Giving you a plus one, plus three. Okay, so it's a Soviet British player. That makes this guy a little bit concerning. Yeah, because now you can just trade. Definitely work on the artillery first. Put down the 7th Regiment. Just so we can get additional card draw, it's a 3-6, it'll, it'll hold up to most things. Hopefully he does not roll well with his Katyusha. Kat yeah, let's go with that, sure, we'll get there. He's not got the additional damage, so we are going to successfully trade. Unless he has a bloody sickle, which he, he does indeed, so there goes our artillery. Does get an additional card. One eight with art. Okay. Death from above is very nice. We can hit pretty much either of those. Let's go ahead and get our additional card. Hmm. Don't necessarily want to hit with either of those. Death from above hitting this guy means that we can just hit the HQ though. I think we'll go ahead and save that for our follow up turn. Let's drop down a three three. Because you can only drop one more card down in this back line. Looks like it's probably like another bloody sickle on this Panzer Grenadier. Man, he has rolled very poorly. That's three coin flips he's, he's not gotten. There goes the Panzer Grenadier, no big deal. You just still have four credits. Trade, okay. It's 
So we got 3 2 with guard. Definitely not very concerning. Two death from above. Alright, we'll just fill up the board with Africa regiments. So that will be an additional 4 damage to the HQ. It's kind of in a sticky situation. You can't develop any more cards, which is very nice about taking the front line early. Trading, that's fine. We already got what we wanted out of these guys. Okay, finally I got the extra damage. This guy will still live for one turn. Looking at all this damage, unless he has something that will buff his units. Or a tank with blitz. That will do it. Looks like he's... Oh, he's actually targeting the back line. Okay, makes sense. Save 2 HP on your HQ. You can fully repair a unit. Do the damage to the HQ. Hit you there. Want to do that? Bring us down to 5. No. Okay with the death room above hitting any of them. Got rid of that guy, which is great. Like to keep you alive, so go ahead and drop down the 5-5 five. Five is developing. Because if he focuses this unit, we'll just repair him. So he can be back. Go back to a 3-6. No problem. He does have a lot more cards than us. Still at 7. He's been floating there the entire time. Did get the additional damage. There'd be one there, so if he has a bloody sickle, this guy would be gone. I think he's only played 3, and you can have a 4th one, so... Might still have one. 5-5 five, five with Blitz. Okay. It's out of credits, though. Suppress the back line. We can actually just hit the HQ now, though. Four. Six. You can actually move up. You'll suppress the back line. Deploy the Panzer. Drive you up. Three damage on the HQ. Because that will be seven damage on the HQ next turn. We just swing again with both of these units. And if not, we can trade here. Actually, you're guarded, so we can't do anything with you. Hmm. Two six heavy. Nice Churchill right there. We've not actually drawn any of our card draw yet. Just thinking about it. Hmm. He has to have some orders in hand. Yep, from the people. Not a problem. There's one of our card draw. Do you need to go ahead and hit somewhere in the... If we do this, and then we repair. I mean, he's just going to one-shot us there. Let's go for the Churchill. And walk you forward. We won't repair. He can hit us with the artillery and then just this infantry unit. And then he'd probably trade here with a 5-5, drive the Churchill forward. To deny the card draw. And that's 2, 3, 5 cost? 6 cost. So yeah, he'd still have uh, credits to the left. Hmm. Oh, there goes our tank. Not a big deal. He was trading the 5-5. Five five. Makes sense. 
driving him forward on our part. Might have been a little ambitious, though. We probably would have face tanked quite a bit of damage there, though. Want the Churchill to hit our infantry. Nah, he's going to go for the HDU. Not a problem, though. Rockets? Nope, HQ. Did not get the additional damage. Here we go. We will lose him in the process. I think that's okay, though. I don't think we're going to do anything with him yet. We aren't going to fully repair him until next turn. See if we can soak up some damage. Just go ahead and end our turn. I want to keep the death from above for something really big. Two seven. When it takes damage, give it plus one attack. Yeah, that guy can snowball pretty quick. One eight with guard, sure. It's like he's gonna let me take the front line. Give me that extra card. Makes a big difference. Give me the Panzer. Drop this guy down. Just for additional card draw. Wrap down the three six. We can flood the board a little bit. HQ is guarded now at this point, though. Do have a 1 in 4 chance of destroying this guy with guard, though. Which would be very nice. 2, 3, 4, and you guys keep one of your guys nice and healthy. Or take the front line, which probably advocate for, so you can drop down an additional unit. He did not roll the additional damage. So now we get spread damage out to everyone. Bloody sickle. For, from the people. Someone does card removal? No, no card removal. That means he's not going to take the front either. That's interesting. There we go. Nice artillery, 2-3. Just to make sure that thing stays nice and healthy, I think we'll go ahead and suppress their back line. I don't want to receive any damage myself. Let's go ahead and start working on this guard unit. Take zero damage ourselves. He can throw units away, throwing them into our line now, though. Trade the 0-3 here. This guy you can't actually trade away, though. Definitely going to kill their artillery with our artillery this turn. That's for sure. Well, 3, 6, 8. Actually, it'd be 5, 7. If we kill this guy with the 3, 6. Not quite there. That would just mean that we would win the following turn with the artillery into the HQ. Okay. I think that'll work. Give him plus three, plus three. Alright, just made it a little bit more difficult. Card draw is very nice. When this unit attacks, deal one damage to a random enemy. I don't think we particularly care which one. Hmm. Let's go ahead and do a death from above. Uh, no. 
Go to this guy first. Now I do a death from above. We hit the right guy. So now I can go ahead and hit the HQ. Fully repair. I don't think it particularly does us any good though. That was a good board clear. So he probably has another guard unit though. Expect a Churchill or something of that regard. One five with guard. Not the best, but I mean, guess it'll work. Seven five. Deal one damage to your HQ. Does he have blitz? No. One five's gone. These two units combined. Three four with guard. He's definitely on the wrong side. Target unit must retreat. Send you home. Good game. Alrighty, not too bad episode. A little bit of longer, just because it was a slow, ga slow gameplay, but not too bad. If you enjoyed today's episode, please like and subscribe. Have a good day.